currently where the TBM was, we now have a 750 ton pipe thruster, which is the main equipment that we use for the insertion of the pipe. It has a small tolerance on the actual clamp which grips the pipe. So we have to ensure that the subframe which supports it, which is below it, and the actual frame of the thruster itself is in line with the, the design insertion line of the tunnel and the pipeline as it comes down the ramp. The pipe has gone in the tunnel at a rate of 40 meters per hour. 500 meters is the best we've ever done in a single day. The final anticipated allowance will be 400 tonnes to get the rest of the pipe in there when we're on the very last string. We have a total of eight strings with average length of 619 metres. Each string is approximately 800 tonne in weight. Most of the weight comes from the concrete coating. It's got iron filings in it, so it's a high density to give the pipeline a negative buoyancy effect as it enters the water. This concrete is pure is protection for the pipeline as well as basically dead weight. So when the pipeline enters the water, this coating has been designed to be a small percentage above the weight required to give the pipe uh, buoyancy. So the pipe will actually be negatively buoyant with this coating applied. So it'll sit in the bottom of the tunnel. This pipeline carries about 20% of the UK's gas. The current feeder is in a dredge trench under the river and it's coming to the end of its lifetime. So once this one is in, it will ensure that the continuity of gas will keep going for the next 40 years. The tunnel was 4.96 kilometres long and the, the current longest insertion by this method was 4.3 kilometres in, on a crossing in Australia. The cathodic protection has been a bespoke design, very new for this project. There's over 100,000 metres of cable actually installed inside the tunnel to protect the pipeline once it's submerged for its lifetime. The main corrosion protection is beneath the concrete. It's the FBE coated pipeline, so it's a fusion bonded epoxy, which is sprayed on at the factory in, in Germany where the pipe came from. We've never inserted a pipe into a flooded tunnel like this before, so yeah, it's pushing the boundaries of what we have done before. Uh, it's definitely been a challenge, but it's been a, a nice one to undertake. Um, it's been a great experience, and uh, it's all about the small details with, with the big equipment, even though it looks big and chunky, it still needs to be accurately placed.